Ooh, we just got a new gun. What the heck was that? It's a assault rifle? Valkyrie. Where's the Valkyrie? Haddock, Revenant, Valkyrie. Oh, yeah, you know what? I do remember that assault rifle. Not that I need it. I don't need no assault rifle. Let's go ahead and <laughs> remove that. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with our weapon choice. I think the pistol does a good job of handling any distance stuff that we need to do. And I think our shotgun is just bread and butter. There's no reason to replace it. What's the fleet status? Still landing inside the bunker. Keep the enemy out. Lock it down. Now. Lower blast doors. Lower the blast doors. Huh. I don't... I don't really care about any, like, Batarians. <laughs> so... I mean, that's just... It's our character. She hates Batarians. So, I don't really feel Great. like I necessarily Why need to get there. Don't. Not all of them are Batarians, obviously. Oh, wait. Why did I just... Can I get back up there? Crap. I didn't mean to do, jump down. There was something up there. Wait, can I go back? <laughs> Crap. There was something in there. There's probably a way back, right? All right, let's get in there. Let's start wrecking some fools. Oh, hold on. Let's try this again. Let's reload. I, I hear it reloading, but it's not actually uh, playing the animation. Bam. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love this gun so much. Where'd it go? You. Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Doesn't matter how sick I might be at the moment. Shooting nerds in the face <laughs> with the shotgun just brings me joy. And it's so easy, too. It's really easy to feel like... Uh, there we go. Level up. It's really easy to feel like, you know, there's an immense amount of power. Can I not get through this window? That's a we'll shame. I definitely had something up there I could have gotten and I missed it. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of missing something. Oh well. We're fine. It's it's probably nothing too big. Uh, let's just melee this guy if we can. <laughs> like, compared to the shotgun, the melee just <laughs> doesn't have the same... I mean, the, the, the heavy melee does. Doesn't have the same kind of weight behind it. <laughs> See, that's better. That's better. But it's not the same. Ooh, can I get ammo here? No, nah, I don't need it. Med kit, sure, whatever. Don't need that either. I'm surprised that let me charge because he jumped behind that. Oh, can we? Um, I don't. I don't get why it doesn't just auto reload. It would make it a lot easier if it did. I'd have a lot less situations where I've got an empty gun. All right, I need to get to the engineer. All right, I am paying attention to the game. And shoot him. Got him. Oh, the long range dive feels so good too. Oh, hey, one of you guys. Oh, we don't have, um, like ever since getting that upgrade, we don't have incendiary ammo. So I'm gonna jump behind this for a second and use this. Reload. I, I could do our charge method here, but I should probably use it on this guy instead. Let's get rid of him. No, don't rocket me. Ah, dang it. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. Show me your face. Dive in. <laughs> oh, right. Cannon controls. Gotcha. All right. Here, let's do that. Sorry. I'm just having fun killing things. It's... I don't know what it is about the Vanguard and Mass Effect, but... It's just so satisfying. Cannons engaged. Head to the blast door.
That's a lot of dudes. Again, how does Cerberus have this many dudes? They are throwing personnel around. And they're like fairly well trained as well. So like, where are they getting these people? Nice guns. They'll keep the general's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Bunker team, retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. It's very bloody. Like with, ooh, that's a cool loading screen. What? That was awesome. <laughs> We're in, lock it down. I feel like this is missing Aria, some kind of I know music. This place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? So, yeah, it's like, you, you know, the, the Alliance has a very large military because it is a planetary military for Earth. The Turian military has a very large military. The... The uh, Asari military has a very large military. Like, you get the point. Like, these these organizations have a bunch of personnel because they are planetary-wide things that then span out into the galaxy. And because they're going out into the galaxy, they have even more space to expand, you know, like the human colonies, allowing more humans to exist as opposed to, you know, having a, a, a fairly low in consideration to the rest of the galaxy cap uh for humans that could exist on on earth so you get a lot of personnel in these uh large militaries because it's it's what makes sense but with a smaller paramilitary organization like cerberus that is uh, a, a very political thing that sure there's a bunch of humans because that's what it is made up of in the galaxy that agree with Cerberus and what they're doing, I would say the vast majority of them do not. So how the hell are they finding so many personnel to do all of this stuff, to take Omega, to have all these crazy um, interactions with the, the Alliance or with, um, you know, these like crazy experimental bases that they have? Like, how are they doing that? Obviously, they can get the funds for it because the... Invisible Man just he just is capable of uh, you know getting the funds for that kind of stuff, but they should not have the amount of personnel that they do, and that is actually starting to kind of break my immersion of the game. Maybe you felt safer hiding in the dark. You should both know I assume nothing, and on that front, Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. I love that we have a female the truth turn. Is I never left. In fact, I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. How do we know she isn't working for Cerberus? <laughs> I like You're that. Way off there. I say that wearing a Cerberus I know outfit. I personal experience that there isn't a corruptible bone in Nyrene's body. Commander, the Cerberus occupation is an illegal action. They need to be swept off this station. Talk is cheap. I welcome the scrutiny, Commander. Don't worry, Nyrene. I know you're no threat to us. Mm, I wouldn't trust that. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty, officer. Like, we just went through a whole DLC where we got duped. Right. Keep an eye on her. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. You'll do what you need to do. And here I thought you might come here trying to change me. No, yeah, you do you. I, I've got other things. I got bigger fish Once to fry. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would... Quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. 
Did she just make an eye what joke be doing? to the Batarian? <laughs> Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. I mean, what am I going to do in the meantime? Uh, okay. Got a barrier up. Is this like I could talk to people? Or what? It, what? Wait, what is the <laughs> what is the point of having me be able to walk around here other than to be like, oh yes, look at all these people. Is there anything over here? Oh my goodness, all these Batarians and whatnot. I don't like it. Human. If you happen to be joining into the series fresh, because I know there are people that do, and you don't know this, Rock. Rock, you there? I'm just reiterating that our our shepherd hates Batarians because of the backstory that we chose in Mass Effect 1. And because of that, I just I don't get along with them. So we're going to continue to <laughs> to double down on that. Don't like Batarians. Aria wants to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Talk to this person. Work. Okay, I can change my armor. Actually, I've been considering doing that. Um, but I don't know if I actually have any other like full sets of stuff that I want to use outside of the blood dragon armor, which is so good. But at the same time, like, look, you know, we get more power damage, which we don't need. Um, but we lose our ammo capacity and our shield regen and our weapon damage and our shield boost. Like those are all stuff that we need. So it's tough. I need something with a bit more shield boost than I got. So we're just going to kind of stick with this until I find a better one, which is what I thought I was going to do uh, at this point. I just haven't put the effort into it. I really ought to just go buy some. What's the trouble here? Power inverters are shorting, trying to find a workaround, but no go. They can probably be scrounged up somewhere on Omega. If you come across a set of carry inverters, bring them back here. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so we have a panels. side quest. I'll with my station schematic to try and figure out where you are. I... what? Ruck, I can't find a single reference to that location. No, I'm not joking. There's nothing remotely funny about this. Only you could get lost like that. I don't even know how you do it. Hey, I'm just saying, as skills go, that one's pretty impressive. Is this gonna... no? Okay, so I was wondering if it was gonna like open up another side mission Come for me by doing that. Yeah, I'll talk to you. What is it? I've been tasked with increasing this command center's control of Omega's operating systems. I've hacked surveillance on many decks, tapped various internal communication conduits, but I can only reach so far. There are terminals in Cerberus controlled areas and, well, you could get your hands on them. When you find these terminals, a simple input code will give me access privileges and more influence on station systems. Easy enough. Good. Yep. I'll keep an eye on my board and I'll let you know when my codes are activated. Thanks. This is going to be like a significant DLC if pack, isn't it? If we hadn't lost that shipment, you mean if we hadn't lost that ship and those people? Well, yeah, that too. Huh. Okay, Just let's, let's go talk to Arya. When you find Cerberus terminals, please read out my access code. Thank you. As, how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw, the general has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. Then we need to find allies. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. We'll make them join, one way or another. Perfectly put. Sorry to interrupt. 
What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyrene knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. Well, that's a shame that we've lost her. She's gone. I, I think that might be a red herring. So, yeah, I think I think we probably shouldn't read too much into that. Because I think they're just trying to throw us off. Good luck out there. It's likely that she's just fine to, to have her around. She's not actually going to be um bad at all i should probably change out her weapons yeah so let's let's change out her smg to maybe the hornet actually or the tempest i think maybe the tempest just again that extra damage in there because mm, the accuracy to them kind of helps out quite a bit although the hornet is pretty good you know what let's let's just give her the tempest uh, let's boost her damage a little bit. And then probably maybe accuracy or weapon weight power damage. Let's do weapon weight because that'll give her um, better recharge. And then for her shotgun, I'll give her the do, 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 do. let's go with let's go with the claymore for her. <laughs> She don't need it, but we're going to give it to her anyways. Uh, damage and I don't even know if she uses them. Uh, let's also reduce weight. Okay. Back. Confirm. I have four more points. Well, I could put one into cryo ammo. Uh, do we want freeze duration or squad mates gain the cryo? Let's get squad mates getting the cryo. And then Aria, I can't put any points in. What a cool little load screen. <laughs> too bad we don't get to appreciate it because my computer's too quick. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. Well, sure. All soldiers know they're expendable. Exactly. The Talons are mine already. They just don't know it yet. Just let me do the talking and... Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. I think it's interesting that we're using the existing gangs to our advantage, but it makes total sense, really. I think she's still following us. That was weird. I, I For a second there, I thought she was not going to follow us. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it makes sense to, to use them. I mean, they're just criminals, and our shepherd doesn't really care about that.